Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we have an insanely epic Just great video like I have not released a video this intense this high leveled in The longest amount of time if you guys are ever gonna watch any competitive set ever I would definitely recommend watching this one. It was an absolute blast now like I always do Please do not yell at me. I forgot that I can't play games, so I was playing Power League on the mini, so I lost the log of the game, so we're going to be spectating it through the stream. It's going to look the exact same, except it's just not going to be my YouTube overlay. My face cam is just going to be in the bottom right corner, but it is an insane series. Definitely stick around for the entire thing. It is the monthly finals, Us Between Tribe Gaming NA, which is the powerhouse team of North America. It's just some insane games. I don't want to waste any of your guys' time, so that being said, let's hop into the games. And let's show you guys what happened. So hopping to the first game here, my face cam is going to block a little bit of the stuff, but don't really worry. It's not going to be too much of an issue. So it's going to be triple dribble for the first map. We are going to be Barley, Stu, and Bell for the first game. And they're going to be Sandy, Tick, and Bell. Now, obviously, we want to be using Stu because Zara is just an absolute menace, an absolute goat on the stew and i went with barley because it was kind of barley or tick you need someone for the mid and i just like the pressure that barley can give we were pretty confident that they were gonna go tick um because it's kind of it's just like the easier choice it's just really simple it's a really easy to brawl brawler to play but once you actually like get into it and get some positioning the barley is really strong it's really hard to escape in that super obviously has insane area denial um and you know they're gonna go with the tick comp the tick sandy and bell we're gonna have mirror bell lanes on the open side the tick v barley i mean tick has a little bit of an advantage but it's not really the biggest deal in the world and sandy v stew is kind of an even fight the sandy gadget has definitely turned sandy really meta same with the new rico gadget it's also made rico really meta you guys are going to see some of that later but right now zara is kind of just being a long dash stew he's trying to just do his thing i'm on the barley og and zulan are just you know juking it out in that 1v1 bell over there and I'm just trying not to get out poked because Tick does have a little bit more range than Barley. And obviously, obviously it's got this, you know, head. So um, I'm just trying to not get out poked. Corey's doing a really good job pushing me in my net. Tyrant tries to make a play, but I think he rushes the goal a little bit when they had good position. Um, so it kind of turns into a 2v3 here. And, you know, they drop the head. We're just going to break a wall. Not really that much impact. I get my Barley super. I throw it back. And that's essentially just going to put them all, you know back into mid spawn now i get marked so i decided to go really aggressive because i'm going to go down anyways to a tick when i'm marked luckily i did get a trap out though so this is really good 30 seconds left with the ball in the corner and a trap there og's kind of locking down that corner right now i think a pitch on the tyrant there would have been good from czar but czar you know kind of just caused the commotion with zulan and Corey, and he was able to get a kill there tyrant hits the trap um i'm trying to just shoot tyrant they only got 15 seconds left so you got to get the ball to the corner tyrant makes a play uses the gadget they're able to take down czar but i do super the ball so even though they are you know it's a two-on-one the ball is super they're low in hp there's nothing really they can do so that is going to be the end of game one it is going to bring it to one to nothing for us in the first set so here we go into the next game and we're going to switch up our comp now i'm dead seven seconds into the game um, that's kind of normal when i'm playing the mortis something that i like to do when i play mortis is kind of just dive in at the start and you know see what i can do i do it about half the time because i don't want it to be too predictable but i kind of just dive in and try and charge my super now it definitely backfired here because tyrant was also able to get a couple other kills so they just walk up the map and score so 30 seconds into the game and they are already up one nothing so this is something we don't want reason we went with the more is because we've been trying to kind of shake up our gameplay a little bit uh we don't like to just go with the same kind of comps over and over you guys can see tribe repeated their comp um we really don't like that we want to try and switch things up we want to try and you know completely change what we're doing game by game not just keep it the same so we're just going to completely change our comp but we are going to keep czar on the stew kind of just to be an aggressor he's obviously a goaded stew as you guys know and i mean it's really good on this map so why change it up um i'm gonna go for zulan over here i'm gonna get him to one but he marks me so we're both one shot right now i have a pretty good position on them and now i think we could have scored here og barely missed the heal on me i think i dashed out of it if i got healed i think we do score or if i play it differently i think we score but they have a really good chance to score here luckily though zulan kind of like shoots it off the wall i'm not really too sure what zulan did there and we're able to get the kill on tyrant as well so one minute left we're down by one goal right now um it's not really looking the best for us but 
we're getting those M's gadgets out. We're uh, out. We're getting the Bell gadget out. So we're kind of, you know, starting to make some plays. Czar on the long dash stew, you know, he's trying to start to pop off. We've been getting Corey's gadgets out as well. So as the game goes on, it gets a little bit better for us. I'm trying to go in and find a place to go in, but I can't really find one. Tyrant's at a knockback, so I can now start going for Tyrant and try and get some really effective um, kills on him. Because right now, it's really hard for us to take out Tyrant with the Poco and with the Stew. Now, this right here might actually be the best goal I've ever scored in my life, considering the circumstances. I mean, we're able to triple bats Tyrant and the, and the other team, or the other players. And then I hit a Mortis Dribble, which I can't do. And I put it between them, kind of. Like, I was hype. I, I yelled out a sheesh in the VC. You know, I was like, sheesh! You know, like one of those. Um... But yeah, we get folded right off the rip here. Zar goes down. I'm a mortis, so I have to charge my long dash. Um, and I get hit twice here by Zulan. So, you know, best goal I've probably ever scored. But all for nothing as they're going to end up taking the game. And it's going to be 1-1 now. So now going into the next game. I mean, we messed up our start quite a bit. And it almost led to a goal. You guys are going to see here. But we're going to go with the double thrower Stu Cobb. Now, before I tell you guys about the comp, we're just going to watch the play here. Corey passes the ball to Tyrant. You know, they're moving up. I'm trying to do what I can, but I kind of have limited ammo. Tyrant's able to get the kill. OG clutches up here, though, but Corey also does kind of miss the net. So, OG, or sorry, not OG. Corey has missed the net. Zulan has kind of screwed up a goal now. So, we've been saved a couple times by not really throws, but, you know, a couple misplays. And now, for the comp, the reason we went with this comp is I'm going to go back to the Barley because I felt like the Barley was really dominant in the first game. I went 4-1 and one on the KD, which is obviously really good, and we applied some really good pressure. Um, Zara, as well, on the Stew, just is a constant threat. You have to see, you have to see like, Tyrant's just behind boxes. He's trying to play passive because Zara, if you get a little bit too aggro on Zara, he's just going to start popping off. And then we have, this is what we have, and this is what we plan for. We plan to get OG's Tick onto Zulan's Bell. Because Zulan, as you guys can see right now, he's just in the back of the map. He basically can't do anything because he just has a tick spraying shots at him. Zara is just causing a ruckus. He's able to get a kill over there. Unfortunately, he's going to go down. Tyrant's going to go aggro here and just grab the ball and kind of try and push it up. We're going to be able to kill him, though. So we have really good position. This is exactly what we wanted with this comp. This is the exact plan. Now, OG does get caught out kind of in the open over there, which is what we don't want against the bell. We want you to stay behind walls and just, you know, chip the bell constantly. But he was able to get some good jukes over there, so it worked out fine. Although he does get marked, so this is kind of where the game starts to turn a little bit. Alec, who's our coach and is in the VC, you know, he reminds us, you're playing double thrower, you're against the bell. Definitely try and win this game before you hit overtime, because once we reach that open map... That's kind of where we're screwed. Now, they switch lanes to get Zulan off of OG, but OG's able to get the kill over there on Tyrant. Zar almost gets a kill, but he's going to go down to Zulan. But we have really, really good positioning here. We're able to get a kill on Corey with the Barley. Tyrant is really low. OG's able to get the kill, but he's going to go down to Tyrant. And Tyrant's doing a really good job of juking the shots here. They're going to move the ball over to the corner eventually because it's kind of a dangerous situation for them right now. I got the Barley Super, so Zulan's forced to go to the right side, try, and avoiding, try to avoid the Barley shots, but there's really nowhere to go for Zulan, so we're going to be able to take him down. It's a 3v2 here, so this is where we decide to apply pressure before it gets too late and it hits overtime and we're not able to score. Zar goes in, he gets a really clean double kill, passes the ball to OG. Remember, Zulan only spawns with one ammo, so he passes the ball to me. He can't kill me, and that is going to be the first set for us. Jeez. So now hopping into the next game, it's going to be Canal Grande is going to be the second mode. So as you guys can see by the scoreboard, it is now 1-0 for us. We got to get up to 3. We're going to go with a Piper, Brock, and Tick. So the reasoning for this comp was we wanted to have Tick on Tick lane, and then me and Zar working the other lane, trying to get an early lead on the other guys. And then we have them spawn trapped and it's over. Unfortunately for us, we lose the start, which was not very OP. This was not a part of the plan whatsoever. So OG gets pinched over here. Um, me and Zar are just getting tapped up right now. And this game is honestly looking really, really bad for us. Like, this is not looking great at all. We're 40 seconds into the game. We're down 10-3 already. 12-3. They're tapping. They have position. They're doing really well. So at this point, um, we were kind of down bad. And... Honestly, I thought this game was lost. I wasted another curve over there. Didn't get a kill with it. So at this point, I I didn't really give up necessarily. But but I was like, man, what well, you know? What are we gonna run next game? What's our next comp gonna be? Because now it's fourteen to three, and I want you guys just to watch Zara real quick because I go to our lane. 
And I'm just like, you know what? This is not possible. We're not getting in here. I'm going to go to the other side of the map. I give up. And Zara's just going to walk forward. Two tap Zulon. Then he's going to three tap Tyrant while being marked. I'm going to be like, oh, my lane's one. I'm going to, you know, hop back over. So I'm going to try and get the kill. Corey puts a tick head down. So he's then he gets tapped by Zar. Now Zar dodges like 18 shots in a row. Like this guy's in the Matrix or something. And we're going to get another kill there. And then I'm going to two tap Corey with the curve. And then Tyrant, I believe, is going to get hit. Or sorry, not Tyrant. I two tap Zulon. But I mean, what Zar did was just absolutely insane. This guy just got us out of our spawn single-handedly. We were not supposed to win this game. And Zar just went absolutely crazy. He knows that he is the only way we lose this game is if he dies. So he's just going to run to the back of the map. He's like, you know what? I've had enough kills for today. I think I'm just going to go to the back. He's going to chill back there. And we are going to get a very, very lucky, slim two-star win over Tribe. So hopping into the next game, we're going to go with the same comp. And so are they. They were, I guess, you know, they felt pretty confident in what they did, which they should. I mean, they kind of bodied us until Zar said, nah, I want to win this game. Um, and we're gonna go with the same comp as well because we're like, you know, if the start was better We could have just done what they did, which was, you know, keep them in spawn Um, me and Zulan are gonna trade over there. Zar got a really early kill on Tyrant. He misses his big rocket over there Um, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it doesn't really matter too much But the big rockets you like to save them because they're really useful for getting kills Zar's, or yeah, Zar's gonna get his super. He's gonna be able to get a kill over there. I have a free kill right there, and I missed my curveball, so I'm kind of down bad right now. It's eight to two though. Uh, we had good positioning. If I hit that curveball, we would have had fantastic positioning, but unfortunately, I missed it, and then I missed another one. Luckily though, OG, this game is really hard winning his lane. So even though we're pushed back right now, and Zar's gonna go down, as you guys can see, OG is pinching over really heavily because he has his lane one to the point where Zar can just spawn back, click the auto aim button or something one time, and be able to get the kill. Kill. Zulan is right here. He's playing really aggro and somehow he's able to stay alive. So, I mean, props to him for juking over there. Zar doesn't really have any ammo, so I'm going to take out the tick, uh, the tick head. But OG's doing a really good job on that left side. He does go down and now we're kind of trapped in spawn. We're up four stars. So, I can't die because I have blue and like basically we, we just two of us can't die. If two of us die, we're down. So, we're trying to like snipe. We're just trying to stay alive. We get the thrower on thrower matchup. That's what we've been really focusing on is trying to get OG on Corey's lane over here. Zar gets to one shot. OG gets to one shot. I get really low, but they're not able to finish off any kills. We're actually playing this really well, all things considered. Zulan's in a corner right there. My head is kind of blocking it right now, but he's going to walk out of it. We're going to trade and they need to kill Zar at this point. So Zar is just going to go to the corner and we're going to take this set. And now we're going to be up two to nothing in sets against Tribe in the finals. So hopping into this next game, we knew exactly what they were going to do. We knew they were going to send a Bell and a Piper to pinch that first bolt. I said, don't worry, guys. You know, I got it. I, I think I have it figured out. I don't. They killed me. This was definitely my worst game just of the day. Um, and all of our rounds combined, this was just by far. My, like, I don't really like playing Amber too much, um, especially not on range maps. I don't mind Amber on some maps, but I'm not really an Amber main. I think this game will show that that's fairly obvious, but um my job right here is kind of just to melt the bot because og doesn't have super i mess up my whatever oil it's whatever it's called and i'm just you know auto aiming away at that bot fairly decent defense considering that we don't have the bell super but it obviously could have been better uh cory's kind of caught out in the middle right now so we're trying to make a play for cory but we're not able to do anything um and i'm kind of just caught here with tyrant bell on lane now you know, I'm trying my best, but I'm just not a good Amber. Tyrant's a very good player. Um, I'm trying to do what I can, but I'm kind of just stuck behind this wall. Two snipers on both sides. I hit a trap. I do get Tyrant kind of low-ish, and now we tie here. So we actually can win this game pretty easily, even though we've been kind of getting clapped for the entirety of the game. Um, I'm trying to stay alive. Tyrant snipes me. If I stay alive there... You know, I think we win the game with 20 seconds left in the bot because we have really good positioning. But now Tyrant can move over and can 2v3. I mean, Zara's doing a good job over there on the lane with Corey. Um, I run into the middle. I get OG hit. I get two tapped. I mean, I just got to log off the Amber. Like, even, even at this point, we are still winning. No matter how hard I'm folding my lane and how hard... Or not folding my lane. How hard I'm getting folded. And no matter how useless I've been, we are still close. I throw up the sad face because, you know, I'm... I'm pretty realistic about when I play bad. You know, I realized I threw that game for the uh, for the boys right there during match point, which kind of sucked. Or not match point, but the match set, I guess, which kind of sucked. Um, so I was a little bit down bad from that game. But 
At least we made a new team rule that, you know, I would not be playing Amber anymore, which I feel like is a pretty good team rule. Um, but yeah, we're going to take an L this game. That's going to start off the third set. So really good start from Tribe to try and get that reverse sweep on. Really good pressure. You know, again, I kind of tossed the bag, but really well played from them. My teammates did pretty good. We probably would have won the game if I at least tied my lane, but let's hop in the next game and let's keep going. So hopping into the next game, I mean, we, we liked their comp a lot. Like we loved their comp to the max it's just our play style it's two snipers which me and og love to play and then stew which i mean if you guys have watched czar's youtube if you guys have watched my youtube or twitch if you guys know anything about the pro scene whatsoever you would know that czar loves to play stew so right now i don't believe their bell has super or sorry they don't have a bell okay so clearly their bell doesn't have super but right now the goal is kind of just to open the wall that's what we want to do here tyrant gives me the wall break ability with the jump so i'm just gonna you know jump back break that wall zulan's gonna move up try and get some sneaky snipes but he's not really gonna be able to do too much we do 30 percent on our first push and get the wall broken which is really good they switched to barley i really like barley on this map because it's very challenging to get your super um but or not to get your super to get safe damage i mean or ike damage but with barley it's fairly easy Zara zooming around getting kills we're able to get a couple taps over there um things are looking really good at this point Zulan gets hit. Uh, me and Zar are kind of like pinching Tyrant over there because that lane is a little bit hard for Zar when he doesn't have super. Um, and right now the game is looking kind of decent for us. We're able to get a tap over there on um, on Zulan. OG is going to go down. We're able to get a tap over there on Cry. Or, I don't know why I said crying. My it's 12 in the morning. In the morning, it's midnight. Um, I'm tired, but you know things are going pretty well so far this game. I mean we have it opened up. We're winning by a lot of percentage. It is very hard to do 76% in one push on this map. It is basically impossible, especially when the other team has a bell, which we have. Now, all we're telling OG is get your bell super. I mean, we're trying to win this bot right now, but the bell super is more important than the bot. So OG is doing his very best to get the bell super. Uh, we almost win the bot there, but unfortunately, we're not able to. So OG, you know, he's trying. He's running around the middle, taking a lot of shots. He's able to get his bell super, though. And that's kind of when we knew it was chalked. When we got the Bell Super and we killed Tyrant, we're like, all right, this game is over. There's nothing that they can do. We're just sniping the bot. You guys can see the bot right now. It's just taking a load of damage. And, I mean, they're not even going to touch the safe on this attack on their all-in push. There's nothing that they can do. A very clean, perfect defense. So now it is match point. We are one, one singular game off of winning monthly finals for the first time this year. So I'm into the next game. I'll show you guys what happens. So going into the third game of the Siege set, we're going to go with the same comp because we just liked it a lot and had great results with it. They're going to bring back the bell and go with Piper and Ruffs. Now, the Ruffs was a really good pick, in my opinion. Um, the, the main part of their comp stayed the same with the um, as the first game with the Piper and Bell. Zulan, easily one of the best Pipers I've played in my entire life. Like He's just such a good Piper. Um, and then they got the bell, which is just, you know, going to be very strong on this map. Um, but we're able to defend the first bot really well. The roughs, duff, it, it just screws us up because we're not really that good into the roughs, especially Stu. And once you get powered up Zulan and a powered up bell, I mean, it's just not going to go well for us. Tyrant's just spamming those bags. Me and Zar would really have to hard win our lanes right now if we wanted, you know, to get control. But unfortunately, Zulan gets a really nice clean two tap on me. Now he gets the power up. I just go for the curve on Corey to try and get us some positioning because I know we're not going to win this bot, but hopefully we can get enough bolts to where we can have some form of a lead going into the final bot. Zard does pick up a bolt and he's almost able to get it, but he's not going to be able to. I got hit once from Corey, once from Zulan, and Tyron's just doing a great job on that late, kind of just spamming his bags down. Um, so it is not looking very good for us. We don't have Bell Super. You know, the walls are open. We're just dying. We don't have many shots. So this is... This is just not what we want to be doing right now. This is not the position we want to be in. They do a ton of damage. I personally think they should have all in. Um, they definitely would have finished it. They elect not to because they're powered up and they feel like they can hold control, which there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. I mean, they're in the exact same position as we were last game where we have to do 77%, which is basically impossible um, against the bell, especially without a barley, but... They're just going to do their job. They're going to do some really good work. They're going to pick up the bolts. There are a lot of bolts spawn on Tyrant's side here. It is fixed spawns, but they like a lot of bolts spawned on Tyrant's side during that final thing. Um, and they're going to take the set. So, I mean, really well played from them. You know, they didn't fold. They came back kind of with the Mamba mentality. 
Um, and they're going to take this game and take the set. So it's now going to be 2 1 in sets going to safe zone, which we like a ton. We feel very confident on. So let's hop into the safe zone games and let's show you guys what happened. So hopping into the first safe zone game, we're going to basically come up with mirror comps. We were considering going Colette Byron, but with Bell in play, we thought that wasn't really the best strategy. So it's going to be me versus Zulan on the Piper mid. I know my face is going to be blocking the bottom right where Corey is, but it's Zar versus Corey's Bell. And Zar is just going to do a great job. Brock is a really good brawler here. I know I, I've been having beef with the EU pros as of late because they don't like Brock. I think Brock is such a fantastic brawler in this meta. I think it's really strong. I think it's super underrated. You guys see me play it a lot in like Power League. If you guys watch my streams, you guys play it a, or you guys see me play it a lot. And it just does really good damage. Um, and, you know, it's, it's basically just a mirror game. It's basically even um, throughout the entirety of it. And I love these games where it's just mirror, you know, who can outplay who. It's super fun, you know, win or lose. It's always a really tight game, a really even game. Like every kill matters, every shot matters. I just love those type of games. They're so fun for me. Um, so I'm going to get one shot here. Try to get a second, but Corey blocked it. I'm going to break our close walls, which is something we want to do. You want to break our close walls. And I get Zulan to like 16 HP, which kind of sucks. They didn't die, but uh, he does go down. I thought I was going to hit Corey with the first shot, so I go with an immediate curve on the second, not able to hit it. So he's going to stay alive. But the second time, we're going to be able to get the kill on Corey. So now it's a 2v1 on the, like on Zulan. So here, we got to try and get some damage. And we only get one shot here, you know, which isn't really that great. Now we get two kills, so it's time to definitely attack the, um, the safe. But unfortunately... Zar hits a trap, so he's not able to do, like, maximum efficiency damage. He kind of has to walk back because he was slowed. Um, and they kind of get back into position. So, I mean, we're still in a really great spot here. Things are looking pretty good. Um, I do get backed up a little bit. Zulan is one. I'm one. Corey's one. Zar is one. I mean, it's just a really close game. OG goes down. Zulan's one now. I'm one. Zar is one. They're starting to do damage because they have to do damage now. We're able to take out Tyrant over there and Corey, And now we're down by 9%. So we really have to push up here. Only Zulan alive. 15 seconds left. OG hits a shot over there. We got to move up. Zar takes one at the safe. It's going to get body blocked. We're taking some other shots. But we're just not hitting enough shots right now. We have to hit all our shots. Unfortunately, we're not able to. And they're going to win this game by 3%. It's very painful, but you know... We just didn't hit enough shots at the end. We hit one or two more shots and things would have changed, but it didn't. Um, so let's hop into the next game and let's keep going. So here we go into the next game. And I mean, it's the same thing. There's not really any other comp here that would be that good, to be honest. I mean, Colette and Byron might work, but with a Bell, it's just super easy to get them out. With a Piper, it's super easy to tap the Byron or with a Brock. Um, so I'm trying to be aggressive this game to start off because I felt like I was a little bit passive last time You know Zulan's Piper is pretty scary So it's not really something you want to be overly aggressive into but we're able to get a couple taps 5% We're able to get a kill and move back. So I think the aggression did pay off I think here OG should be taking shots at the safe. I don't really see why not. He took a shot at Zulan instead um, But I mean either way we have good positioning right now Zulan's going to go for a curve onto Zar, trying to get Corey some positioning. I'm able to hit Zulan, so we got a free kill over there, and we get another kill. So we're going to be taking shots now. Again, Zar hits the exact same trap as he did last time. I mean, not his fault. He doesn't know that it's there, but he hits the exact same trap. And again, we are up by 39% early on in the game, so things are looking pretty good. But I feel like Tribe just plays this so well. They're so good at, you know, just understanding the game, getting value where they can take it, and just... All that type of stuff. Tyrant stays alive when he was slowed there. That kind of sucked. But we're able to get one kill. Zara was able to do so. Um, but they were just going down one by one. Unfortunately, you know, Zara also goes down there. And Tyrant was just out of reach for me to hit him when he got hit by that gadget. So they only do 18%. So not the biggest deal in the world. But this is when it starts to become rough. When Corey walks up when he regens here. And he starts to shoot the safe. Because I'm backed up right now. They have the mid ground. We don't. And when Corey shoots the safe, I don't really have anywhere to go. So although I'm trying to regen, he's shooting at me half the time. And I'm trying to stay away from the safe. Because the safe is bouncing into me, not letting me regen. But I'm also trying to wait, stay away from Zara. So it's just a really bad position to be in. And they start hammering away at our safe. OG hits three shots in a row, which really helps us out. And really nice wiggles here from Tyrant. I mean, 
he, he was just able to avoid some shots and now they have a one percent lead very similar to last game so you know we're just trying to push up get some positioning unfortunately i get tapped by Corey. czar gets a kill we're trying to move up here but again we lose by this time four percent and now it is going to be two two in total sets going into the final set i mean it was an absolute crazy match you know it, those are my favorite matches it was really fun but we're gonna go to the final set which is gonna be ring of fire so let's hop into it but again let's show you guys what happened so this set was like the most intense like slow paced kind of like professional set i guess i've seen in a while this was pretty cool so we had the bell v bell mid over here then we had Stu lane versus roughs they predicted the roughs and they countered it with Stu, and then they went rico and i went with the roughs i play roughs a lot here it's something that you know i don't really want to play necessarily it's not the most fun brawler but i think roughs is pretty strong here against you know what we expect them to play although i am going to go down early in the game zara is going to go aggro in the mid and it's really hard for a stew to get control over the roughs i go down again here and i'm just at this point i'm asking for some help i mean zulan has position rico gadget is super strong in this meta um and i just need to get my team powered up and i'm kind of i'm slacking you know i'm kind of holding my team back at the moment um but we're able to get some good taps over there on tyrant which is going to allow us to get position we're going to be able to get the kill on zulan as well so now og's powered up unfortunately though he does go down which sucks because once you get that power up you want to get your whole team powered up because that's when it starts to tilt you know i mean all pros we're all good at the game. So once one team is just fully powered up and the other team isn't, it's really hard to beat them. So luckily, when we killed Zulan, we charged a lot of our super. So I was able to get another power up to OG fairly fast. Tyrant's also powered up right now, but he's going to go down and OG's going to go down again. So very unfortunate, but you know, I'm able to get the kill over there on Zulan. We're holding down the zone for as long as I can right now, given that I'm a roughs into a bell. I back up, but we got some good percentage off. And OG's able to walk up and now take over the zone. Now, I'm trying to get OG big, you know, HP-wise. I'm using that star power that gets him bigger. I'm going to give him my third power up. I'm saying, please, OG, you know, this is my third one. I want to, you know, maybe give one to myself. Maybe give one to Zar. So, you know, let's stay alive here. But we're starting to do good. He's getting the traps down. Um, it's two. Well, not two anymore, I guess. It's a 5% lead for us right now. But again, like, we're two minutes into the game. Barely anyone has been in the zone because it's just such, like a back and forth type thing right now so on with a good clip over there onto og i'm gonna move forward and he hits a trap so we're gonna be able to get that kill czar gets a kill over there on that left side and now the tyrant's out of bag czar is kind of he's free he's free to do whatever he wants or sorry not tyrant Corey. like there, there is no way Corey on the roughs is going to be holding back czar on the stew like there's just no way and that's not to disrespect Corey in any way it's saying that he's on roughs and Zar is on Stu, and there is no way that he's going to be able to kill him with him dashing around the place. I mean, Zar is just 2v1ing right now while me and OG are pinching Zulan. Like, we don't even know what's happening on the other side of the map. Zar is kind of just doing his thing. But anyways, it's going to be the first game. We're going to be able to take it. So a really strong, really good showing from us in the first game. We're hyped. You know, we're, we're super pumped up. And that, you know, that's going to put us to match point again. For the second time in the game, we're going to be on match point up one nothing. So let's hop into the next game and keep going. So here we go into the second game. So we're going to go with Penny. Now, Penny was my idea. Um, I said, I think we go Penny because they're going to roughs. You can shoot through the bag. So it's pretty, it's pretty OP. I don't think they're going to go with thrower. And once you get that Penny turret down, it's kind of a W. Like there's nothing that they can do about it. So I thought when we get in, when we got into this game, I was like, yo, we won. This game is over. Like there's no way they're beating us once we get that turret down i you know i'm charging my super pretty quickly right now um czar you know he's hit a couple shots og's doing all right um but we're, we're down we expect to be down at this point but we're down i'm trying i'm just trying to get my super at this point off of Corey. we're able to get it i'm going to toss that over to og Corey's going to be put to one shot so i'm going to start to go kind of aggro zulan has his power up as well so here we go i mean we have the turret and this is now where we try and take control and I'm, I'm, I'm so hyped. I'm hyped beyond belief because now it's like a 4v3 essentially. But what I did not realize, which is absolutely insane to me, is that Tyrant is using the wall break star power. There is no shot on this map. You are using the wall break star power, but they are. So we lose our turret. Zar doesn't really know where to put it. So he's just going to, you know, whatever. Let's just put it in the grass. 
Um, meanwhile, I'm over here on lane with Corey. It's a little bit of a tough lane without the bags, and I've run out of bags here, so he's gonna be able to get the kill. Um, the mortar, I mean, it's still popping off. It's still getting kills, but it's not safe. We need it to continuously take shots, continuously annoy them, and that's not what we have right now. Um, but with that being said, we're starting to do a lot better. I'm able to get a kill over there on Corey while OG was pinching. We're able to push Zulan back pretty far, and I get marked. I don't really mind being marked. I'm the roughs. I don't, I'm kind of vibing with being marked. You know, if anyone, let's pick me to be marked. So I don't really mind too much. Um, I'm kind of just shooting this corner. Zulan's powered up and OG isn't, so it's a little bit rough. No pun intended, but I am able to sneak over there onto Corey. So things are actually looking pretty decent now. It's starting to open up. We have position. I hit two traps over there while I'm marked. So again, if it happens to anyone, I'd rather it happen to me. OG gets a kill. He taps Zulan. He almost taps him again. So now we're down 30%. We have to be in the zone for about 22-ish seconds to catch up. We get the speed turret, but unfortunately, OG hits a trap. Zulan gets the one shot, and now I'm just trying to wiggle around the mid. Zar gets the kill. Corey's trying to come from the side. You guys can see we're catching up here. We're all hitting our shots. I leave the zone. I, you know, I got to regen, but unfortunately, we all go down. And I mean, it was a pretty good attempt, to be honest. We shouldn't have really come this close, but we did. But unfortunately, they're going to come back, and they are going to take it. And it's going to be forced, of course, to a double match point so going into the next game we decide to go back to our original comp they did too i think the biggest change is not actually the fact that you have stew on lane but it's the fact that you have bell with the speed if you guys notice game one og kind of gave their mid the work and if you notice game two og kind of got the work from zulan but the difference was game one we had the stew turret or the speed thing whatever it's called in game two they had it. So I think both teams realized that was kind of the difference in mid. So we're both going to go with Stu over here. And I'm trying to win this lane really hard. Like this is this is the game. This is the last game. Whoever wins takes it all home. And this is such an important match for us. If we win this game, we now move into the second spot, which is going to have us in a world's qualifying spot. I mean, by a little bit, but we're still going to be second rather than third. So this is a huge game. And I'm just trying to play out of my mind. We're doing really good on the lane with Corey. Zara's just getting the bags out of the way right now. OG was doing really good at the start. Kind of gets backed off a little bit, but, you know, both Bells are kind of just putting in the work. It's a fairly even game at this point. Um, no one has the power up at this point of the game. I'm able to get it first to OG, but he is marked. So that kind of sucks. But first power up, you know, that's a lead to start off. And then we're able to get two good shots on Corey. Five, it takes seven to charge your roughs. Uh, super so we're able to kill Corey almost charge our super and take out the speed turret now They're able to get their first power up. I'm able to get mine as well Zar asks for a wall break because Tyrant only has to chip those like two grass tiles over there Where now it's opened up Zar has some more area to wiggle and it's a basically perfectly dead even game now We have a little bit more control here. So we're trying to go aggressive OG gets low So I put my bags down. I mean honestly, this is probably the best game of Brawl Stars like mechanically or IQ wise I think I've ever played in my entire life. I mean considering I'm on the dog I think I played this really well, but I mean this is not to say I carried I was just real I just watching it back. I was really proud of just how I played um, And all that now Zara right here watch what Zara does. He's able to get a really sneaky kill over here on Tyrant Which was really good. We were able to kill Corey over there in the mid as well So now they're up by 20% but we're able to get some position and here I'm baiting out two of Zulan's shots so we can't regen I put the bags down I'm starting to go a little bit aggressive trying to cause some commotion and we're down by 10% now Corey moves to the main we're able to tap Corey a little bit OG has to move back so I'm trying to apply a little bit more pressure I'm trying to hold the zone we're trying to tie the game 30 seconds left it's getting really scary now it's a 3v2 but I mean I'm just tapping away I'm like, screw it. I'm giving myself the power up. I'm feeling it. Zara moves up. He's going to go down again. So at this point, it's looking kind of bleak. But we're able to hit a couple shots. Me and OG on Corey. We're able to hit, hit a couple shots. Me and OG on Zulan. And then we're able to hit another couple of shots on Tyrant. I'm just going to eat that power up to the mid. Corey's going to make a last ditch effort. But we are somehow able to win this game. Come back. And finally win a monthly final so that's gonna be it for the monthly final video for you guys that was a really intense final and here is kind of just the road to everything i was getting knocked out first round was huge and helped us get past them on the leaderboard if they didn't lose first round they lost second round and said we'd be one point below them now we're 19 points ahead of them so that was really huge by aqua to knock them out you know huge thank you to aqua 
um but we were able to take this month you know i'm super proud of the team i'm super hyped that was just awesome but anyways that is gonna be it for the video so if you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe do all of that but that's gonna be it for me today i will catch you guys again tomorrow sorry for the break but I, you know i just had to prepare for this i'll be back to the usual uploads i'm gonna be out I'll see you guys again tomorrow <laughs> peace